Dan, how much of a disruption I suppose is the cancelled game being last week heading into the Friday's game? Uh, I, to be honest, yeah, it's in some ways it was um, it was it was good in some ways, believe it or not, because um, since the season started, you know, we've gone from the Presidents' Cup of Sunday, Friday, Friday, Monday, and um, there was a bit of overload when you get that early in the season. So, being honest, you know, the few days off. I suppose we're welcome because it gives you a chance to recover a bit more. Um, it probably just dragged on a bit. But the only thing about it is that everyone was affected. Everyone had their games off. You know, most clubs were struggling to train like ourselves. But at the same time, um, you can't do anything about it. And, uh, you know, maybe you, sometimes you, you, you get frustrated by things like that. But just just human nature and you sit back and enjoy the, the snow. And that was it. And uh, so we're back in since Sunday. And, uh, you know, I should look at it. We're, 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 we're back on track again. And what shape is the squad and know who's going to be missing for, for Friday night? Well, at the moment, we're um, Josh has come back into training this week, Josh O'Hanlon. Um, obviously, Friday might be too soon for him because the fact that uh, we go into a very heavy period over the next two or three weeks. Um, but other than that, everyone else is, you know, Johnny's on the way back, but it'll take a little bit of time. But everyone else seems to be um, okay. Is it too early in the season for the speed? A massive, massive game. Ah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's it's. Um, I know it's it's good. I suppose to have the two top two teams that were there for the last couple of years. But at the same time, you know, either way, it's um, you know, as I said, the league is a marathon. It's your fourth game. Um, you know, it's it's um, it's certainly there's a long, long way to go, and, and certainly Friday night's match won't determine won't determine anything. John, is it fair to say that the, the biggest losers from the game being called off last Friday would be the fringe players, like you said to me after Sligo, that you'd be changing the team for the Bowes game to give fellas a chance and to give a rest to the guys who played all the games, but they've had that rest now and you're obviously not going to meddle too much with the team for Friday. So Yeah, it, it, yeah I suppose that was the frustrating thing because there was certainly a couple of fellas on the edge that were going to play against Bowes. Obviously, that that changed things. But look at that, that 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 situation will develop over the next week, ten days anyway, because we run into such a Friday, Monday, Friday, Monday, Friday. So that's you know it's going to change things. So guys will be involved anyway. So um, you know while those guys might be a little bit disappointed, I'm sure basically they know that the next couple of weeks is going to be a lot of games and and uh, the opportunity is going to be there for them as well. Would you expect Dundalk to change their approach based on what happened in the second half of the Presidents' Cup? Do you think they'll try and Kind of sitting tighter and not allow as many opportunities. Like they, they played kind of an open game that day, but was that just the nature of the game not being as competitive? It was, and probably some of the players that had. So I think you'll see them back to back to where the back to basics. And obviously, Gatland hasn't played for them. You know, he played last Sunday's first game back. So obviously, he's going to come straight back into the team. But Donald played last week, so you know another guy that you'd expect they, they could put back in the team. Obviously, uh, Hoban that day came on, you know, he's got a couple of games under his belt. So they'll they'll be back to more, I suppose, a physical, stronger team than they would have been that day. So we'd expect that. Is is there almost an element of surprise about Dundalk now because they've changed a lot from last year? From from, like you're you're much more settled we'd say. I mean there's new faces here but the team seems to be quite settled. Do you think maybe Dundalk it's maybe kind of um, unknown quantities from our point of view or from from a Cork point of view? No, no, Matt, because I think their starting 11 would be very familiar. You look at Gannon, Gartland, Follen, Massey, Shields, Benson, Murray, Connolly, Duffy, Hogan, and you throw in Stephen O'Donnell into the mix there as well. So straight away, they're, they're all very familiar players. You know, Hogan's been there before, he's the only guy coming in. Murray's in our league, our league since Scotland last year. All the rest of our guys are, who have been with them for the last number of years, you know, saw the main guys. So, um, from that point of view, I think a lot of foreign players they have won't play. Okay. You know what I mean. So that's I, I would imagine, um, but you don't know. But I wouldn't I wouldn't think so because um, uh, he he likes to stick to a lot of players that he, he's known for a while, and uh, but at the same time they haven't conceded. They have three games. They're unbeaten. So so it's it's you know and, and you know it's early days. But at the same time you know they're looking at you know that they haven't conceded and um, they got goals eight goals the last day. So. You know, um, from their point of view, you can see the reports out the game. They feel that um, they're right back on track, and you know everything. Everything is the play for now, which it is. And you know, from our point of view, we've just started as well a little bit better than they have. 
So, um, you know, we have to show the confidence again going in that it's going to be an incredibly tough game and always difficult up there. And nothing but a top performance by us will, will get us a result. And, uh, but I, I imagine they'll be along familiar lines. Yeah, with you. It's a bigger game for them, though, John, isn't it? Because of the recent history between the clubs, result-wise. It's hard to know. You know, time will only tell. I wouldn't think so. At the end of the day, okay, maybe they might see that if they, you know, the win the gap is, you know, it's down to a point or two. But uh, it's um, certainly, you know, the way the way I feel about it this year, there's going to be a lot more results taken off teams, and uh, what we did last year and that incredible run, you know, I don't think that's possible. Um, but at the same time, um, you still we go out to win every match. But I think it's going to be, uh, you know, a very tight, uh, I think be, you know, the games between us are always held for leather but they're going to be physical, I think they've got a much more stronger team now, a physical team at home and coming in because he's a big strong boy and he throws his weight around and uh, he's very aggressive so um, they've changed from that point of view to, from where Macmillan would have been so he's given them a much more physicality and um, uh, and we even saw that when he came out in the President's Cup and, and uh, so from that point of view um, I don't think it's. I think it's another match. It's early in the season, you know, and um, obviously the fact that we've had the upper hand in them, of course, you know, they they want to change it. But I don't think in the bigger picture, you know, it's just too early to call yet. And you're obviously happy with the way your own fellows have gelled. I mean, Grave has four league goals already. The others seem to have settled in. Aaron Barry yeah. at the back. So yeah. yeah, and it's good. And well, you know, we said all along we felt this year that we create more chances and, and we'd score goals and. Thankfully, early indications are that, but there's a long, long way to go. But important for Graham because there is a lot of pressure on him. He's come in and there's been a lot of talk, you know, could he get goals? And, you know, in fairness to him, he's got a few goals at the moment and we're happy with him. And hopefully he'll continue that. And, you know, he needs, you know, he's that type of guy that, you know, he's come in here and his attitude has been really, really good. He's a really nice lad. And um, I think it's, it's surprised him since he's come back, the level we're at and the whole, the whole, surrounding the club what's gone on behind the scenes and the the backroom team we have and, and uh, it's been a much higher level and intensity than he's been used to I think that's surprising but thankfully the most important thing is on the pitch he's been getting goals and you know long may that continue Conor Mack okay yeah. Conor yeah Conor's back in yeah everyone's back in and they're all they're all in good form so um, you know it's good because it's, it's difficult sometimes um, with the guys on the bench but you know, it's early days and they're all training very hard and they're all guys that want to get a game. So, um, you know, as I said, the next couple of weeks, he'll, he'll, he'll give them game time. John, it's seven games. We know the last against Dundalk, like it was the opposite. Let's say 2014, 2015, that they, they went seven games unbeaten against City. When you're on the receiving end of it, does it play on your mind? Like, you know, do, do you fear the run kind of getting longer and longer? I don't know, you'd have to ask them. Um, I well, think, but I mean, I, when I, you were in that position, we'll say well, was 20, it, I, 20 to the 2016 season <coughs> after seven games, and then the President's Cup was the one that ended it. Like, yeah. were you kind of thinking you had, you had to come up with something different every time to, to try and get the better of them, or, or yeah. how, how would you approach well, it? We had to get better. We had to be better. Like, I think, to be fair, you know, in 2014, we were, we, we, we came from nowhere, and we, you know, we really, uh, you know, really. Um, committed team that would run through the wall for you. We've much more quality now and obviously in the last couple of years we've turned into a much better team and the players have shown that. You know, so I think there might be an element maybe, you know, in 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 some of our heads, you know, the fact that, you know, there were two up in the President's Cup we came back to them four two and you know, but they, they, you know, they said since that, that day they weren't prepared, they took their foot off the pedal and, you know, they've you know, they said since the Limerick match last week they're back on track. So you know, it'll be just to see, but there's no doubt it'll be it'll be a very competitive game. John, even though they've lost two of the best players in the league, Mac Millen and Michael Henning, they they haven't really weakened. The side hasn't really been weakened, but the players they brought in. Do you see, they haven't. They're not a weakened team because the two lads have gone past John. Well, you'd have to. They feel they're just as strong as they always were. Like. Well, you'd have to say are they stronger because they've invested so heavily. You know, if, 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 if you if you look at like like Holman was their marquee player when they won the league in 2014, so. You know, you know, he would probably think that he's a, he's a he's a bit better player than than Patrick McMillan. He probably feels that. Um, you know, that Murray is in as well. Murray is in who's been you know has played a lot of games in England, so really well with with Galway. So they're two very very creative players and, and players who've got goals. So um, um, and then they brought in you know the boy back from Everton, Sam Byrne. 
about the foreign, the foreign striker um, that uh, he played in Norway. And then they had the two foreign midfielders, the Lithuanian lad and the guy from Hungary that came through Liverpool's books. So they've invested usually in, if you look at their panel, you'd say they're much stronger than they would have been. And, uh, and, they're, and, they're, and to be fair to them, you know, they're, they're saying that, that they feel they are going to be better this year and, and that they need to be better. So, you know, we'll all have to wait and see, you know, and so um, um, it looks that way.